everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Saray if you're new and in this video I am going to be walking through the contents of the latest seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren this is the winter seasonal surprise box for 2022 wanted to share the contents and my thoughts I just flipped the box upside down because obviously it has my personal information on the other side but I wanted to show you the outside of the box and this is really what grabbed my attention when I first saw the box because it is stunning it's beautiful this is not a new design this is just a updated colorway on um, this design I actually have the um, personalized stationery in customized colors with the same snowflakes which I absolutely love but my the biggest draw for me for this box was that it was very seasonal theme in the past I believe it was last year's um, winter box I was I was a little bit shocked um, and I'm usually not <laughs> I'm shocked but the winter box had nothing to do with winter in my opinion so I was pleasantly surprised to see this one because it really fits the the season in the opening shot you saw the interior of the box so this box is reversible so you can reuse it to maybe pack a gift or storage if you like and I really love the design and this is the theme that goes throughout the entire box you can see it has a beautiful uh, quote here and it just it just screams holiday to me and I also really like the muted colors and the navy sort of colorway that's in here as well. Um, I love pink, but I also love navy. Navy um, And the two combination, I absolutely love. Not that there's much pink in here either, but I just, I just love the colors. Before we jump into the contents of the box, it does include this reference card which comes inside the box and essentially outlines everything that comes in the box. And since we're going to go through the items, I'm not going to go through the details of the card, but um, it does include a list of all of the items that are in the box. And for this box, all of the items are exclusive, which is outlined in this card, which I absolutely love. So that means that unless you got the box, those items are not going to be sold separately. They're not going to be uh, coming to the Erin Condren uh, site. So um, that's one of the great, um, I guess, uh, appeals for me is that I can get to see some exclusive items or try out some some new things. And the other reason why this box is a great value is because you're probably seeing a little sneak peek here. So the value, the box itself is $40 including shipping. So I think that's a great cost uh, for what you have, what you get in the box. Now the box is not going to please everyone. So when you're purchasing a box, you do, and it is a surprise box, you do want to keep that in mind that, you, you know, you might not always be happy with the contents because you know, they, they vary and it's a surprise box. So you have to kind of go into that, into that box with that mindset. But one thing that I feel sweetens the deal with this box, and I hope they continue to do this with the future boxes, is this 20% off code. So if you're someone who purchases from Erin Condren on a regular basis, you know you're going to be purchasing in the future. I think it's a no brainer to try out the box because you do get a $20 coupon for a future purchase. So essentially you're getting the box for $20 if you're someone who's planning on purchasing in the future. All right, let's talk about the star of the show. So the star of the show is the Starry Night Compact Vegan Leather Folio. In every box, you do get like one bigger item. And for this box, this one is it. Now, this um, Starry Night design is not completely new because Erin um, Condra has carried it before. I actually have a petite planner folio with the very same design, but this one's just a little bit rethought with this vegan leather, which the background on the previous design was navy, which I absolutely love. And I just grabbed my folio for a comparison. So it has been slightly updated. Like for example, this little um, sparkly one on the corner is not really in this design but the concept is very very similar so it's just a little bit of a revised one but it kind of gives me the same sort of vibe so this is one of my folios I cannot wait to move into this one probably use this one sometime in January unlike the petite folios though this one is a zipper folio so it opens all the way around and it does include a big picture planner in the petite 
portfolio size. It has a pocket over here where you can put pens. Uh, there is a shorter pocket here which you can insert, um, you know, a notebook or another uh, sort of planner. And then this one over here does include a pen loop and another pocket. It does come with this big picture planner, which is, as I mentioned, it is in the size of the petite planner. So that one obviously fits in very nicely. The one thing about this folio though is that it's very thin as you can see it closes out very thin so the for example the a5 planner from Erin Condren the coil version is not going to fit it's going to fit in terms of like the the length and the width but when you go to close it it does not really work that well so if you don't carry a lot and you have a pretty streamlined streamlined system that just one book uh, it's all that you need, then this would be perfect. Uh, for me, I do use the petite planner system, all of the, all of the all of the petite planners. Uh, but sometimes I do like to just take my petite planner with me if I am out on the go instead of taking the whole the whole folio. So that's something that I could you know consider if I wanted to use it and stay pretty much um, on theme for for the season. Um, but I don't know it's just it's just not as versatile versatile uh for me i absolutely love the design but honestly i wish this was a petite a petite folio um at how it is because it's very it's very hard to find something within erin condren other than one petite planner that would fit in here because even, I mean, I guess you could put in a notepad, but then the whole notepad would have to go in here because the notepads are from top to bottom. So like this, this pocket is not here on the bottom that you can hook your, your notepad. So, um, yeah, this is not my favorite. Um, I mean, I love the design and it definitely caught my attention, but I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I'd really be using it. Speaking of notepads, that is another item that is included. As you can see, it has the wintery design of the box and this one is just sort of like a weekly overview. So you have some space to write down your goals and then a mon Monday through Sunday breakdown for a weekly view and then a little to-do area. Absolutely love love these. Um, I can, I always love a good notepad. This can certainly be used for pre-planning or, you know, if you need to jot down some things really quickly so that the whole family can see it. It's definitely, I think, a very usable thing. You can never go wrong and they're undated. So you can store it and then pull it when you need it. So there's definitely not, uh, you know, pressure to have to use it at a specific time because it is undated. Since we're talking sort of about planning, I wanted to go back to the big picture planner. So beautiful design, absolutely love it. I love the idea of it. I love that it is like a petite um, size because definitely my prefer. Um, so this is a big picture planner. So you have a some instructions. This is more of like a special uh, purpose sort of planner. So Erin Condren has come out with a number of these over the years. Like there was a summer journal, there is the gratitude journal. So this one is sort of like a goal setting system where you have uh, an opportunity to review your current year or how the past year went and then start to setting to set up for the new for the new year. And then you have some like a um, monthly intentions, monthly goals, you can really break it down, and then some line pages, and then it jumps into the following month, and the colors are really muted. They're, it's not fully neutral, but the colors are definitely muted, which I really like, and you get quite a few months. I would probably say there's probably 12 months worth of um, layouts this monthly layouts with the line pages so i think it gives you a lot of of freedom so i think this would be a great planner too for like memory keeping or journaling as well especially if you're someone who wants to start journaling but doesn't want to commit to like a daily practice you can certainly use this to sort of pick and choose what um what memories you want to keep you maybe not every maybe not every day is needs to be um, written down and then it does include a corresponding sticker sheet with the same sort of colorway 
This one has uh, some quotes in the same colorway as well, which I really like. And these sticker sheets are on the matte, the matte paper. So it's not see-through or anything. Um, it's just you know pretty straightforward, but I really like I really like these. Uh, and then here at the end of the planner, you have sort of like another reflections um, section as well. So I really love the idea of this one. I don't know if I'd be using it like every day uh, necessarily. Um, and I do have my Moxie system, which is my goal setting system. So I'm probably going to save this one for a future time because I definitely have enough planners to handle. But I really love the concept of for this for someone, again, who's maybe wants to see it more at a high level and they don't need the the, the nitty-gritty of every day when it comes to goal setting or memory keeping. Another item that I really like that was included in here is this sort of um, functional sticker sheet. It does match the colorway for this sticker so even if you don't end up using the stickers for this specific planner you can certainly use it for any other planner as well. So you have a number of different text stickers that say weekend important email payday and today in this different colorway and i love that they're smaller enough that they can fit in any planner there are a couple more accessories included and one of them is this set of starry sky metallic clink click pen duo it is looks more like um, a ballpoint or a gel pen so we'll go ahead and try it out but the ink um, I believe does match the pen itself so let's go ahead and test out these colors so we'll first start with the metallic gold ink Wow, I really like it. It's pretty smooth. It does, um, it did skip slightly over here, but I honestly, I think it might be the paper, not so much the pen, but for the most part, it was really consistent the whole way through. This next one, which I love, because it is a uh, navy, it's called the Metallic Cobalt Ink. This one did not skip at all, and I really love the colors. They're so beautiful together. Um, they are a little slightly metallic, so there's going to be a little bit of shimmery in here. But I'm very surprised and pleasantly surprised to see these pens. I think that over the years, the easy pens have definitely improved quite a bit, and these are just awesome. And I love that they're clicker pens too. Definitely very excited about these these two things. The other accessory included in this box is this set of highlighter sticky note tabs. I absolutely love how the packaging and everything coordinates so well. And these sticky notes are very, very thin. And I'm almost thinking I should probably use a like my tweezers uh, because they're very, very thin but they are perfect for highlighting. If you don't want to commit to using a highlighter on a page, maybe you're using a book that is borrowed from the library and you want to highlight certain things, you can certainly use that for that. And this one, or you can use it all the way to the edge, which gives you that um, page flag, page flag effect. <laughs> there we go. So I really like that. Uh, one thing that caught my attention is that some of the colors do coordinate very well with the box, but then other colors are a little bit too bright. Like for example, the neon and the orange and the and the pink. Um, I mean, I, I love these. I definitely will use them. This is something that I see myself using as well for all of my note taking when I'm reading. Um, but I would have liked it a little bit more muted to sort of match the, the rest of the box, but still very usable. I think they're still beautiful and a great accessory to have on hand. Last accessory I have to show you is this set of interchangeable covers. Now, this is a pretty cool concept, which I really like. This is the second box that Erin Condren has um, available that you can pick 
from two different cover designs and from two different sizes because obviously not everyone carries a 7x9 planner they might have an A5 planner so really really excited so I went with this Snowflakes 7x9 cover because this one's going to be for my weekly hourly planner which I use and I'm probably going to use this one in January but let me show you the little card and I know it might be a little bit tough to see, but that is the second cover option. And that one is called Believe Something Wonderful. Believe Something Wonderful is about to happen. I'm like, where is the rest of the name of this cover? So that's what that one is. And I think it's absolutely stunning, but I went with the, the one without um, without the quote. Because I think, I don't know, it's just, I just, I, sometimes I don't, I don't like too many quotes. But um, I did uh, go for this one and I love, love, love this design. It's absolutely pretty. So pretty with the, you know, with the sort of muted colorway. So I cannot wait to switch up my cover come January. All right, so what's the verdict? Overall, overall, I'm 50-50 on this box. I'm definitely seeing myself using obviously the covers, using the notepad, the highlighters, the pens as well. This one may be down the road in the future. I don't necessarily see myself using this folio because it just doesn't feel as functional to, to me. So overall, you know, 50-50, I think I, you know, I'm glad that I still got it. And I'm even glad that I, I still got it as well because of the 20%, um, the 20%, the $20 off for a future purchase. We all know I'm going to be back shopping with EC uh, one of these days. So I think that's definitely a, a huge plus. One thing to note, though, is that the expiration date on the coupon is relatively quick. It's in a couple of months, so it's at the end of January of 2023. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's unlike the 20% off coupons I usually get in the in the life planners. You do have a long time to use those. Those expire too, but you definitely have a longer time. So there's a, a tighter time frame for, for this one. So as of the time of this video, the box may or may not still be available. I'll still link it down below just in case. I think it might it makes a great gift for someone um, that's either an existing planner or even new to planning as well because it does have a nice little variety of stationery and office supplies which I think many people if not most people love. So there you have it. So thank you guys so much for joining me today for this review unboxing video of the seasonal surprise box from Erin Condren for the winter of 2022. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to my channel I really appreciate if you consider subscribing. I post videos every single week. Thank you guys so much. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.